Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Gay from Scratch. And if you're a Unity developer, you're probably looking at other engines and kind of longing, like going, hey, where's my free stuff? Well, great news. Today, you get your free stuff. And to be honest, this is one of those things we've kind of been expecting, well, forever. Uh, back in, uh, let's see, it was May, May of 2020, Unity acquired Bolt from Ludic. They didn't acquire Ludic, they acquired just Bolt. Now, you'll be wondering, What's a Bolt? Well, Bolt is a visual scripting solution, one of the most popular visual scripting solutions available for Unity today. And you'll be wondering, hey, wait a minute, aren't Unity working on a visual scripting solution? It's like, oh yeah, they are. We'll get to that later. So anyways, back in May, they acquired this, this add-on, not the company, just the add-on. And um, it was only kind of a matter of time before it was released in some way, shape, or form. And uh, yeah, that day is here. So today, on July the 22nd, Unity have announced that Bolt visual scripting is now included in all Unity plans. So if you're looking for a visual scripting solution, something like Blueprints, but for Unity, it is here now and it is free. Now that wording could scare you a little bit, is included in all Unity plans. Kind of makes it sound like you get this in, you know, the pro plan or the um, plus plan. Nope, nope, this is all plans, including the free tier as well. So I don't know why they didn't just say Bolt is now available for free. Um, so if you got an idea on that one, let me know actually. So let us jump right into the announcement. So I already covered, they, they bought them back in May. I'm, I'm actually kind of shocked that this didn't come along with, you know, some other kind of announcement. It's sort of like, boom, hey, Bolt's free. I kind of thought it would be like a GDC or a Unite or something kind of event going on, but eh, I'll take it. Uh, so it's now included in all Unity plans at no additional cost. We believe the world is a better place with more creators in it. And we know that visual scripting is a critical part of bringing ideas to life in Unity. Bolt is now available for download by all Unity users through the Unity Asset Store. Unity, uh, users who purchased Bolt after Unity made the acquisition announcement on May the 4th, 2020 will receive a refund in the amount of their purchase. We will be sending an email to those users within the next two, uh, next two weeks. Uh, the next version of Bolt, comma, Bolt 2, uh, which will bring improvements in capability, scalability, performance, and ease of use is in development. When it arrives, Bolt 2 will be included in all Unity plans at no additional cost. More information to come later this year. We are committed to providing a great visual scripting experience for all users for all types of projects, regardless of the architecture. Bolt is an acceleration of this mission towards providing that experience. We are working to refine our various node-based tools to improve the general user experience progressively over time across the editor. Uh, we'll have more to share with our share about our work on visual scripting in the coming months, so please stay tuned. If you'd like to get involved with our Bolt development team and learn more about this, alpha or beta programs, check out the forum. If you'd like to join the general conversation in the forums or on the Discord. Now we're going to get into the uh, FAQ portion. How does it work? It's a visual scripting asset for Unity and enables Unity users to create logic for games or applications without writing code. Bolt has visual node-based graphs that both programmers and non-programmers can use to define final logic or to quickly create prototypes. Bolt also features an API that programmers can use for more advanced tasks or to create custom nodes that can be used by other team members. To learn more about Bolt, find tutorials and links to the community, check out the Bolt Asset Store uh, page. Uh, how did Unity how did Unity acquire Bolt? Well, they, they bought Ludic. That's pretty straightforward. Acquisition changed Unity's own visual scripting tool development. So right now they are working on their own visual scripting tool. The big difference is that tool is built around the dots infrastructure so um, C sharp burst compiler ECS and all that other stuff and in fact it requires those things so it's sort of a, a thing for the future also it is still very much in development whereas bolt is a very uh, established production tested and um, proven technology that is ready to go today now, the, cool, the thing to note here, though, is we are actively working on refining the synergy between our various node-based tools so that visual programming gets progressively unified across the engine. So that means either the dots visual scripting or Bolt, they're going to kind of converge. One of them is going to win out with their approach. It'll be interesting to see which, which program is actually the winner going forward. Now, once again, Bolt only was acquired. They did not get the developer behind it, Ludic. Ludic is still working on their own assets, other stuff there. Uh, is now included in all plans at no additional cost. Yes, Union users with any plan can now download use, and use Bolt at no additional cost. This includes personal, student, education, plus, pro, and enterprise subscriptions. Again, I don't get their wording. Why don't they just say that it's now free, but okay. Uh, how do you get access? Basically, just download it from the Unity Asset Store. It is now free. I'm not even going to bother telling you what the Unity Asset Store is. Uh, when will it be available? Bolt 2 is currently in development. High quality release and a great experience for our users. We're looking forward to sharing more details in the future. Should I use Bolt for my project or wait for Bolt 2? Okay, anyone that's working on Unity projects right now knows the answer to this one. Stuff that doesn't exist yet, 
don't don't expect it to exist anytime soon. So yeah, stick with Bolt for now. Uh, will Bolt 2 stuff be compatible? Doesn't look like it, but they're going to look to minimize conversion effort. Uh, will you get a refund as long as you bought it after May the 4th? You will get a refund on your purchase. And yeah, that's about it. So if you want to get started with Bolt, it is available on the Asset Store. And I will, of course, link this in the linked article down below. So yeah, I guess this is of absolutely no shock to anybody that's been paying attention at this point. But it's definitely nice to see, uh, yeah, that it finally happened. And I, um, I think I'm going to do a video on Bolt at some point in time. It does seem to be... Uh, an interesting enough project. I did one visual scripting system in the past that was featured in a humble bundle. Oh, ah, yeah, it was Playmaker. So I have not ever done anything on Bolt. I, I probably will do a video now that it's available to absolutely everybody. But let me know if you are interested in that uh, happening or occurring. So uh, if there is enough interest, I will go ahead and do so. I, I want to play with it myself. I don't think I've ever actually used Bolt before. So I'm going to be looking at it anyways. Might as well do a video about it, right? So anything specific you want to see me cover on that topic, do let me know. Unfortunately, I do not have any real experience with Bolt right now. So I can't give you any hands-on on um, experience or, or shots or anything other than I could just share the news that it is now available for free and get your opinion on that. What do you think? Is, are, I, I got to imagine if you were like me, you just had to assume that this was going to happen, like right? that the, the announcement was going to come at some point in time, Bolt was going to be made available for free. I, I'm a little shocked again that it just sort of happened without fanfare, but you know, we do live in a COVID world where, you know, big events and stuff aren't happening. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty nice to see. I, I know a lot of people on the um, Unity side of the fence, you know, you haven't been getting a lot of freebies lately and uh, visual scripting isn't really something that Unity does out of the box. So uh, this might come as welcome news, but do let me know what you think of this news. Are you shocked that it happened? Um, and yeah, that's it. And uh, yeah, I guess I will talk to you all later.